A desperate search is continuing in Beirut for more than 100 people still missing after the huge explosion which devastated the port. 300,000 people have been displaced. It's thought the explosion was caused by a fire that ignited piles of ammonium nitrate which had been stored unsafely. Quentin Somerville has the latest. In a country long battered by shock, a fresh unnatural disaster has seized Lebanon. The fires burned long here at the port. The cause, a powder keg of unstable chemicals left to rot in the very heart of Beirut. The shock could be felt in Cyprus, Syria and Israel. The two and a half thousand tonnes of ammonia nitrate fertiliser was the equivalent of a one kiloton blast. This was Lebanon's 9-11, they say. A catastrophe that shook the entire country. A small fire at the port had drawn people to their windows to watch. When the chemicals exploded, they received the brunt. More than 4,000 have been hurt and Lebanon is traumatised. It is a day they will never forget especially for bride Isra Sablani. In Beirut's wreckage are the ruins of the granary that contained vital supplies of imported wheat. Another disaster at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant finished off the Soviet Union. Lebanon's old order should fear the fallout from Beirut docks. Ammonium nitrate is a chemical that is made all over the world and it's actually relatively cheap to buy, but storing it can be a problem. And it's been associated with serious industrial accidents in the past. Our science editor, David Schuchman, explains what it is. It began as a very large blaze, a towering gray column and flashes from what looked like fireworks. But worse was to follow. A massive explosion. And as it erupted, an important clue emerged in the color of the smoke, a reddish brown, which meant that ammonium nitrate was involved in vast quantities. So what is this substance, ammonium nitrate? Well, it's a chemical mainly used as a fertilizer. Farmers in the UK and all over the world apply it to their fields. And on its own, there's no danger. But this powder can also be used as an ingredient for explosives. It was favored by the IRA. This was the London Docklands bombing in 1996. And Scotland Yard persuaded farmers to guard their supplies carefully. We did a great deal of work uh, informing farmers, informing those that had access to it, that stored it, how dangerous it was, how it should be stored so that if there was an explosion, it wouldn't propagate and, and grow into a huge explosion like we saw yesterday. Why is ammonium nitrate so potentially dangerous? Well, in certain conditions, it can become unstable. This vast explosion in China five years ago involved a quarter of the quantity that erupted yesterday. The explosion in Beirut happened in the worst possible place, right in the port with a lot of buildings around, and the impact would have been felt in several different ways. First, a shock wave, leading to a sudden increase in pressure which would have killed people nearby. Then a wave of debris, chunks of concrete and glass hurled through the air maybe a mile or more. And then a cloud of toxic gases and dust carried by the wind right over the city. So why was the ammonium nitrate there in the first place? In the aftermath, there are no clear answers. All of the port's officials are now under house arrest while an investigation starts. The chemical had been brought there six years ago, possibly by a Russian ship, but was then just left. Maybe it was destined for Lebanon's farmers, but never released to them. Whatever happened, a deliberate detonation can't be ruled out, but nor can neglect and carelessness. There is probably enough problems within the infrastructure of Lebanon uh, to explain poor storage practices, poor uh, chemical accounting, uh, 
um, you probably have all the ingredients uh, in there already without it needing to attribute it to malice. Seen from space, this was the port before the explosion. Now it lies in ruins, whole buildings wiped out, and the shocking sight of a large ship on its side. Whatever the cause, the recovery will take years. David Shuckman, BBC News.